Hey guys and welcome to this third and final video today. Um, this final look is um, just such a cool look. So you might have heard of companies like Flash Tattoos, um, there are other ones out there that are doing similar sorts of things, but these beautiful um, temporary tattoos um, that are done in metallics, loads of brides, um, especially bohemian brides wearing them. Um, so we're going to do our own little spin on that today um, and just a little bit more freehand if you want to form something that's completely your own. So yeah, in a similar sort of way to the flash tattoos, um, it's just going to add that little bit of sparkle without having to spend out massively on loads of um, sort of intricate jewellery or anything like that. So if you're looking to add a bit of sparkle, add a bit of metallic to your bridesmaids even, this is a great option. It's inexpensive, it's beautiful, it's completely customisable. You could do it on your hands, um, you could do it up on your arms, even higher up on your arms, collarbones. Um, feet anywhere really genuinely you could use this this anywhere and um, it's so simple to do as well so let's get into it shall we okay then guys so we're gonna be using Mayron products again so more stage makeup this is spirit gum and it comes with a remover that's super important but we'll get to that later we're gonna be using a foam brush as well just any cheat one will do and then a really beat up paintbrush do not use a nice makeup brush for this look and then of course the gold leaf let's start by taking that spirit gun by Mayron. Um, it's a slightly odd colour but just go with it. Um, it's got a nail varnish style applicator so it makes it super easy to use. So we're just going to start by applying that in sort of, if I'm honest with you, random patches is what we went for. And then we're just going to start dabbing away with that foam brush um, until we get a sort of tacky sensation. You'll notice it change. Then tearing off quite rough strips of the gold leaf and applying it, it will stick instantly um, so just dab it down with that paintbrush don't worry about your paintbrush getting involved in the gum I'm going to show you how to clean off the paintbrush later on um, which is it will be necessary so yep just repeating that process making sure that the gold leaf is as flat as possible if you leave any bit sort of um, 3d you know sort of stuck up off the skin then um, you are going to find that they will catch later on in the day so you'll notice that I'm being quite rough with the brush. I'm sort of, you know, busting it around and bending my finger. That's exactly the kind of look we want to go for. We want it to look sort of quite beat up and, and not too flat and one dimensional. You know, you want to have skin coming through, sort of showing through that gold leaf just to break it up a little bit. That said, if you did want to create something more structured, um, you can use masking tape. So, I mean, you could create sort of rings on your fingers or shapes on your hand or on your arm or whatever. So if you wanted to create something within like a triangle shape, then simply use your masking tape to create the shape you want and then just work within that. Let it dry and then you can peel off the masking tape and you'll get some really nice clean lines. So I'm just taking that spirit gum remover, pouring a little bit into the cap. It's quite smelly stuff. I wouldn't recommend spilling it anywhere either. I'm not sure how it would react. And then just manipulating the brush within that cap. It'll loosen up the gold leaf and the spirit gum and give you a lovely fresh brush to work with. You might need to do this a couple of times during your application, but it is worth doing. So there we have it, that's the finished look. We went fairly light-handed, we didn't want to look too much like a fairy had vomited on us, but make it your own. If you want to go in hard, go in hard and enjoy. Thanks so much for watching.